Hey guys, this is my snippet day today. I'm in the Boeing 747-400 simulator. I want to show you some of the uh, transfer systems that we have. This is the Boeing 747-400. So it had some methods of transferring the system. The Boeing 747-400 ERF, the Dash 8, are also identical. Uh, although the Dash 8 has a multifunction display, as it's called, so you can transfer a lot more. You can play around with all the screens on the Dash 8. But on, on the 400, it also had some redundancy and ways of transferring information if you had problems with one of the units. So let's have take a look. So over here, this is the uh, primary flight display or PFD. That's the navigation display. The captain's side is exactly the same primary flight display, navigation display. These two the, are the ICAS display units, upper and lower ICAS display. So. The pilot needs this as the primary for flying because you've got the, your heading and everything there. You've got your attitude here. You've got your speed here. You've got your altitude here. And you've got your rate of descent, VS, over there. So it's a very important instrument. That's why it's called the primary flight display. It's the primary instrument we use to fly the airplane safely. So let's say for some reason that we're having problems with this primary flight display unit. This isn't working correctly. Up here, we've got inboard CRT normal, which is what we have now, or we can have the ICAS or PFD. So this is the inboard. That's the outboard. Inboard as in inboard towards the center of the center line of the airplane here. So inboard display. If this goes, the outboard fails. We can make the inboard become the primary flight display. So let me move that switch and see what happens. There you go. So the nav display has disappeared because there's, we've had a problem with the primary flight display. So that's now becomes the primary flight display because that's the most important flight instrument we need to operate the aircraft. So on the captain side, of course, everything is still working. So he doesn't have to know, do any transfer. Over here is the upper and lower ICAS. And if you look here, it says here, lower CRT, normal, ND or ICAS. So the first officer has lost his or her primary flight display here so we transferred it to there and then we still want to have a method of seeing the navigation systems so we can now move the lower CRT which is this one lower ICAS display to ND and there I've got now my navigation display so the first officer would be flying with this one as primary and that as a navigation display. Captain still has both instruments as per normal. And what else has happened is all the engine information that was here selected before has moved up into a, what we call a compacted display on the upper ICAS or upper CRT as it used to be called then. That's what we have now. So the first officer can still fly navigation display there primary flight display there. So let's go back to normal, 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 and the nav display has, has returned and the primary flight display has gone there. At any time, if this unit fails completely, if it fails for some reason in flight, automatically, it will automatically, even if you don't move that switch, the inboard display switch, without us moving it, let's say on takeoff, if this unit failed and the first officer was doing the takeoff, it would, and it failed completely and went blank, it will automatically transfer to there. So the first officer or the, can continue to fly the airplane if, for example, it's during the rotation, for example, a critical moment. So if, if this fails at that point, as he's rotating the airplane, it will automatically just move across to there. Okay, I'll show you that now on the instructor panel. Okay, so we're on the instructor panel. And I'm gonna go for malfunction this. And we're gonna go to navigation and flight instruments. There's the PFD and ND fail. So I'm gonna do the first officer's instrument. PFD, first officer. And as you can see, at the moment it's working. So if I execute the malfunction here, I'm going to execute it now and see what happens. So let's say it happens as the first officer is rotating the aircraft to take off and it fails. See what happens. 
see that? Automatically changed so that he, he or she can continue the rotation and climb out because it's vital that you have the primary flight display. The nav display, not, in, not that important at a critical moment like that. So it automatically goes back. So I'll restore that. First officer, back. And it's a similar thing if I failed the captain's PFD. There you go, see how, what happens. It will automatically transfer. There you go, automatically. If that unit, the PFD fails, it automatically removes the nav display and continues with the primary flight display for the pilots to continue flying the airplane and climbing out at a critical moment. So, those are some of the things we have, the safety features, just to help the airplane stay safe. Later.